These are instructions on how to tie a harper's knot on strings that are 45 thousandths of an inch in diameter or lighter. You'll need two things, the new harp string and a spline. You can reuse the spline from the string you're replacing if you wish, or snip a one inch length from a 50 or 55 thousandths diameter string. After removing the old string from your harp, place yourself in the seated playing position behind the harp. Feed the string from the front of the harp's soundboard through the string hole in the soundboard. Pull the string out through the sound hole in the back of the harp just far enough to have slack enough to tie your knot. Here's how to tie the harper's knot. I'm going to begin by placing the spline in my left hand and you can see I have it resting about halfway into my first finger and then it crosses over to my middle finger to about halfway into that finger as well and I'm securing it in place with my left thumb. Now I'm going to take the harp string and I'm going to line it up parallel to the spline so that the two ends are even. Now I'm going to create the first of two loops. I'm going to use my right hand and grasp the string and in a, in a way bring my right hand behind my left hand to create the loop. And I'm lifting up the index finger of my left hand to allow the loop to come into my hand so I can grasp it with my left hand. Now I'm going to create the second of the two identical loops. Once again, with my right hand, I'm going to bring it a little bit behind my left hand, creating the loop. And there you can see what the loop looks like there. And now, holding one loop in each hand, I'm going to hook the second loop, the one in my right hand, over the loop in my left hand and over the spline as well, both the loop and the spline. And now I'm going to pull the string end in my right hand tight. And I can use the thumb of my left hand to hook over the knot and give it a little extra tug. And there is the finished Harper's knot. Now, if your string is 28 thousandths of an inch in diameter or lighter, it's best to tie an extra loop around the finish knot for security that the knot won't pull through the string hole in the soundboard. And to do that, it's just a matter of creating a third identical loop. So with the knot in my left hand, I'm securing it with my left thumb, I'm going to create the third loop by once again bringing my right hand a little bit behind my left hand to create the loop. And now I'm going to hook that loop over the finished knot that I've created. And I'm going to pull the string end in my right hand tight and use the thumb of my left hand to secure the knot nice and tight. And there is the finished Harper's knot.